Hey everyone, welcome to a new review from Android B. We're going to take a look today at a game called Two Balls. Not joking, that's the actual name of the game because it involves two balls, one rotating around another. The idea is this you have a world that you have to escape, it's a collapsing world made of tiles, and you have to advance as fast as possible to avoid falling into the abyss but it's a game of physics I'll show you how see the, all, the tiles behind you just disappear and you have to tap exactly when your ball is on top of a uh, solid tile like I thought now it's gonna be but it wasn't it's so so difficult I mean the gameplay is very easy you've seen you just have to tap but calculating the exact trajectory and landing on a solid tile is much more difficult than it sounds. Yeah, I have one. I haven't been this frustrated since playing Floppy Bird for the first time. I must say it's also a bit addictive this part because it's so difficult and you just want to get a better score thinking that you know it just can't be that <laughs> difficult but it is the game displays some ads but it otherwise is free nothing annoying if you want to enjoy the gameplay come on, come on now no <laughs> I told you it's incredibly difficult to get a high score but after hours of practicing I can say I got my best was 16, so I actually did something. You can also go back if you if you like adrenaline, but you won't get a high score unless you advance. Have to do it fast because the world collapses behind you. There are also some vanity upgrades. If you've seen, you can collect some broken eggs throughout the gameplay, and with those, you can purchase uh, different wear for uh, your ball. For instance, I bought one that looks like a regular football. So let's play with that. Yeah, now that looks better. If only it would have gotten easier. On. No, you. <laughs> There's also an online leaderboard, so if you connect with your Google account to Google Play services, you'll be able to share your score. And trust me, you can make some of your friends jealous if you get a high score. Thing that I'm unable to do. It seems that 16 was my best will remain for a long time that come on I'm very close to six yeah there's also background some music and sounds which make things a bit more nice can't believe ah that's it that's very, it's a very simple gameplay. There's nothing more to this game than what I've showed you, but it's incredibly difficult to advance and get a score, even of ten. It's very difficult to get it. You need some practice and luck, lots of luck, to do it. It has very good graphics. I'd say there's HD graphics, and it lets you focus on the gameplay but it's of no use if you don't practice enough to be able to land on the solid surface so this is the game the two balls obviously you realize where the name comes from play with two balls and I I recommend it if you want to test your patience and see how if you if you at least can beat my score of 16. <laughs> Thank you for watching.